Good morning. I hope this is working. Good morning. My name is Neil Harvison. I'm the co-chair for this uh, workshop that we're going to be conducting for the next two days. And just to get us started, I'd like to introduce Susan Scrimshaw, who is the co-forum chair, to introduce us. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, first, I, I want to thank the forum members for a very uh, productive working dinner because we got a lot of cards with suggestions and ideas. And I want to welcome everyone who has joined us for really a long-awaited workshop on accreditation. We've been talking about this uh, probably since the forum began, but certainly since I joined the forum. Every, every time we try to think about innovation in health professions education, we come back to the question of, but are the accrediting bodies keeping up with the innovations. And I think one of the challenges that we face today is, in fact, that, uh, first of all, our healthcare world, our health world, uh, our environment, is, and we spent a fair amount of time yesterday talking about uh, all of the environmental and behavioral factors that affect health, um, is changing very rapidly. And how, as health providers, we need to think about that environment has to change. We're struggling enough within our educational institutions to keep up with these changes and to anticipate the future so that we're producing graduates who can function in the world of the future and adapt as the world of the future changes. So we have that struggle. And then the question that we're asking today is, well, are the accrediting bodies with us? Uh, if we're struggling to move fast enough, what is happening in that world? But I will also say from, from my experience, uh, you, you, don't, you can't be in academia for as long as many of us have and not have experienced accreditation site visits, accreditation reviews. And in my experience, accreditation has also been a force for positive change. And I remember uh, the era, actually, it, it, I was at UCLA at the time, in the mid-70s, when CEIF, the accrediting body for schools of public health, first really introduced criteria around social and behavioral uh, aspects of health and around health education. And that pushed the schools that were not yet thinking about that to put that uh, in, into their curriculum. So I see accreditation. I know that many of uh, many people, especially when you tell a faculty, you know, we got another accreditation come up and they all groan. Uh, but I, I see it as a force for positive change. But it can be something that holds us back. And I think that's the conversation that we're going to have over the next two, two couple of days. How do we work with our accrediting bodies? How do our accrediting bodies work with us to be a force for positive change. So um, I'm, I've been looking forward to this workshop for a long time, and I'm very pleased to turn it back to Neil.